Okay, welcome to lecture 2.8. Okay, now, um, where I left you in 2.7, we did likelihood ratio test. We got a value of our test statistic 4.09. We compared that to the chi-square distribution. The magic number, the, or the cutoff value for the p equals 0.05 statistical test was 3.841. Our value is greater than that, so we reject it. Okay, we can reject our null hypothesis using the likelihood ratio test. Okay, now let me show you another way we could have tested that hypothesis. Okay, so recall uh, from this <coughs> whiteboard, um, what we did is I, I said that um, um, our the the uh, likelihood estimate, the maximum likelihood estimate, so some smart person has proven that in the limit, that is distributed normal, okay, uh, with mean uh, equal to the truth, the, the true value of theta, and variance e equal uh, to the second derivative of the log likelihood, actually Okay, the negative of it, and then you take the inverse of that. So that's what we did. We took the second derivative. We got, uh, I think, negative 13.5, took the negative of that, and then we got, uh, then we got positive 13.5, and then we took the inverse of that, and we got 0.0741. So that should be the variance of our... Um, estimator of our uh, uh, test statistic, the theta hat. Um, and then the standard error should be equal to the square root of that, 27.22. And so we now do a another test using a t-statistic, okay? We, what we can do is we can say T equals theta hat minus the, the mean, what should be in the mean, now if our null is true, divided by the standard error of theta hat. Let's plug in those values. Theta hat equals 0.6667. Our null was 0.15. And our standard error was 0.2722. 2, 2, okay, and when you do that, um, you get um, 1.9007, 1. okay, and let's say our, uh, our uh, theory is that uh, we believe that theta hat might be, that the true theta might be bigger than theta, in which case... Um, wait, wait, wait. Is that true? No, no, no. So we could have rejected. Okay, this was something I probably didn't explain as well as I could have. But with that likelihood ratio test, um, we would have rejected if the theta hat was much bigger than 0.15 or if theta hat had been much smaller than, than 0.15. Okay, so because we square that value and when we're doing the uh, chi-square, uh, it, it means that either for theta hat much bigger or much smaller than, than theta hat, we can reject, okay? Now, we reject it. So what that means is that when we're doing a t-statistic like this, t-test like this, the, the relevant comparison is when we use a two-tailed test for t. So we want to look... If uh, here's our theta sub zero, 0.15, we want to look to see if it's on either case. And so we, if it's a two-tailed test, we want to make sure that we've put 5% of the mass in both tails, which means we should look to see this critical value is the, the point where we have 2.5% of the mass here, and that critical value is 1.96. Okay, so... We'll reject if it's uh, that T statistic, okay, is actually greater than 1.96 or, or uh, on the other side, 
less than negative 1.96, okay? But what do we get? 1.907, we did not reject. Our, our, our value, our T statistic is gonna be something like right here. So in this case, we don't reject, okay? Okay, here's what I want you to think about. So here we have the likelihood ratio test. That says we can reject. We do our T statistic. That says we can't reject. So I gave you these both cases, true theorems, say how to run these statistical tests. So both cases are true, yet one of them says reject and the other says don't reject. Okay, what is going on? How can that be? Okay, why don't you hit the pause button. Think about it for 30 seconds or so, okay? Have you done it? Okay, you paused, you're back. <clears throat> Here's the answer of why that can be. Both of those tests, or both of those theories saying how we can make those tests, looked at the asymptotic distributions. And so that, that likelihood ratio test, that lambda or negative two times log of lambda, in the limit, as we get infinite data, that starts looking like a chi-square distribution. The other theory, says theta hat, looks like a normal distribution in the limit once we start getting um, infinite data. Okay, the, the example I gave you, we only had three observations, so three is not, is not infinite. Often in statistics, I remember my undergrad professor who said you know when when is are we close to getting um, a large sample he said ah, i shouldn't say this but 30 <laughs> that works so um whatever the case we don't have 30 here we're, we're far from it. we only have three so we're in a finite sample case we definitely don't have infinite data and so that's why we can have these two tests giving different answers now if we had just run this for a much, much larger sample size, and they should have given the same answer. Uh, uh, but as you can see, remember, uh, that happens when you're in the world of, of finite samples. Okay, so that is, I can't even remember, that's 2.7. I think that's right, 2.7, is that right? No, that's 2.8, okay. I'm currently, this is 2.8, so I'll see you in lecture 2.9.